Do you know what GPU stands for? Or what NAND is? Time to learn about chip families. There are many different kinds of chips. Some are digital, others are analog, and some are mixed. Each chip family has their own specialty. The most common digital chip families are logic and memory. Logic chips are the brains of electronic devices. They execute the commands and processes needed for your computer to run properly. Within the logic chip family, CPUs, or central processing units, are the original chips. First designed in the 1960s, the CPU excels at running individual tasks and getting those done quickly, one after the other. That is, in serial order. You may have also heard of the GPU, or the graphics processing unit. The GPU splits big computing workloads over many computing cores. This parallel processing gets things done much faster, which is why GPUs are such a hot commodity right now for artificial intelligence applications. The other big family is called memory. These chips store and access bits of information across billions of memory cells. They come in a few flavors called volatile or non-volatile. Volatile memory chips save data only when the electronic device is powered on. The most common type of volatile memory is DRAM, or Dynamic Random Access Memory, which is basically like the working memory of a computer system, helping the computer to run programs. DRAM needs to be fast, because it needs to keep up with a blazing fast CPU or the GPU. Then there is non-volatile memory chips. These can save data even when the device is turned off. The most common type of non-volatile memory is NAND flash, which stores your photos and documents on your device. Handy, right? Say chips.